Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy, aka the Opinionated Brit, and welcome back to another video. In this uh, video, we're going to be taking a look at a new artisan, um, or new to me anyway, and that is Lothar Grooming. Um, some of you may have heard about them. Um, they're definitely in uh, vendors across the pond in the US, so um, and they're definitely uh, available, or it is definitely available <clears throat> in the UK. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, crack on with the video. Roll the credits. Now then, how are we? Um, it's uh, Saturday, Saturday evening here, um, just around half eight in the evening. So, uh, well, cheers everyone. We're on a, a gluten-free Peroni. Um, I do have celiac disease, so I uh, can't indulge in the traditional lagers and beverages. Um, so it's either cider or gluten-free <coughs> uh, for me. Anyway, Enough about me. We're here to talk about uh, Lothar, as I uh, as I mentioned. Here we go. Look. Um, in this particular video, we're looking at Calm. Um, so Lothar, just a little bit of background, is a is a British um, based artisan, a male led British artisan based out of Leeds, which is in Yorkshire. Um, I also live in Yorkshire, um, so I had the absolute pleasure of meeting up with Johnny, who was the founder, um, a few weeks ago. And he very kindly uh, gifted me this um, tub of calm and a tub of tears, which I will be giving away as part of my 500 subscriber giveaway, which I know I need to do. Uh, I will get around to doing it. Um, so the grooming brand or Lothar uh, was born out of a desire to help men with their mental health. Um, it's uh, Lothar is a, an old English um, uh, play on uh, lather, believe it or not. So that's where Lothar comes from. Um, it's a tallow-based soap, as you can see. It has this nice, uh, not really off-white, but white consistency. It's quite soft. It's easy to scoop out. So if you're a bowl latherer like me, it's a win-win. Um, they currently have three core soaps, which is Calm, Dave, and Tears. <clears throat> and they have one more out at the minute, which is Juice, um, which is like a limited run. Um, Interestingly, well not really interestingly, but very um, boldly maybe, or very generously, 5% of the profits from each soap in the core line go to uh, get donated to Calm, which is the campaign against living miserably. It's a mental health charity. Um, ingredients, uh, I'm not gonna talk about the ingredients. I am no good with ingredients. It means nothing to me. Um, unfortunately, I wish it did. I wish it, uh, I could probably um, do more on the ingredients, but I'll uh, I'll post them down here somewhere or in the video so you can have a look. You can pause it and have a look at those ingredients. But they are all very good ingredients. There's no nasties in there. Um, uh, as I said this is a review specifically of Calm, but we're uh, we're looking at uh, the brand uh, as a whole. So the scent on this nice spoiler it is nice oh, wow it is uh lavender eucalyptus and it's got some green notes in there as well and it's just it is fresh and it is for the want of a better word calming and i love a lavender scent it isn't um it isn't like a synthetic um smell like some some lavender uh, soaps are it's just nice just lavender um <clears throat> the actual calm the Calm Soap is inspired by a lady called Sarah, who was uh, Johnny's um, therapist for a long time in London. Johnny's background is, uh, is predominantly from fashion. He was quite a, um, a successful fashion designer in London. Um, and when I met up with him uh, a few weeks ago, we talked uh, a little bit about that. I, uh, I do want to delve a bit more into that. I'm sure he's got some stories to tell. But obviously Johnny suffered with his own uh, mental health problems and obviously Sarah helped him out a lot um, and that's where Calm comes from, that's inspired by her. Um, it's priced at £16, uh, which is, uh, I don't know what the equivalent is in your uh, where you live, but a lot of people have said it's it's a little bit overpriced. 
Personally, I don't think it is for the quality of the soap. Um, I think it's bang on. Um, it's not overpriced and it's not um, unreasonable. Um, so yeah, price wise, it's not too bad. Comes in this four ounce um, plastic black top, um, screw top lift. In, interestingly, this logo here isn't a sticker. It's um, already on the lid, which is nice. It's printed on the lid. Um, does have a plastic uh, plastic a label on the side side label so it's got ingredients directions for use where it was made um, and various other um, bits of information on there um, and Johnny actually is in the process of getting some matching splashes um, certified so hopefully they'll be released uh, fairly shortly um right let's crack on with the shave i want to try and keep this to 15 minutes let's tell you what we're going to be using um so pre-shave fresco from the cube fresco oh, I, I'm not, I haven't even been drinking fresco from uh paa uh pre-shave uh soap obviously we're using calm from lothar razor something pretty cool here some of you may have seen me use this on instagram it is a prototype razor i'm not going to delve too much into this but um it's a prototype razor this is 3d printed plastic but it is by no means the finished uh article um it is the the marquee razor so go and check them out on instagram but it is by no means the finished article it is a prototype that's been sent out to several people for testing in this i have got a second use persona Platinum or Persona Blue, however you want to uh, call that. Brush, we are going to be using the uh, 26 millimeter rainbow brush from Yaki, the uh, Mew Brown Knot. Very nice, I haven't used that for a while. Ah, yeah. And then to finish off, we will use Strawberry Fields from A&E. Haven't used that yet, so uh, let's get a bit of the green on it. Eh? Get a bit of the green on the face. And then uh, some unscented balm from Sterling. Right, I have some of the soap pressed in there. I'm gonna go off, gonna get that lathered and I'll be right back. Stay where you are. Right, we're back and uh, look at that shaving fans. Ooh, she is a doozy. We've got a peaky lather right there. Uh, just to clarify, I know some people uh, have said, some of my subscribers and some of the guys that I'm friends with on Instagram have said doozy means, uh, it doesn't mean something good, but I know it's something good. A doozy is something awesome. Um, it can mean different things to different people, but if you hear me say doozy, it, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but yeah, look at that lovely, lovely sheen, uh, lovely peaks. Um, it's a thirsty soap, there's no denying that. Um, if you speak to Johnny, he'll say that and he's got no he's got no secrets in hiding that. She likes to drink. Um, so you can throw water at it. Um, that doesn't mean you, you can just tip a bucket of water in there. It's gotta be small and often. You can add water, but you can't take it away. Top tip, ding. Um, so yeah, let's um, get the old, glasses off and we'll uh, crack on with a shave um wet the old whiskers got about two days growth chuck the cube in the water get some of that on oh yeah nice it is nice the old fresco um yeah so how's everyone's weekend been so far good i hope excuse me i'm just trying to kick something out of the way um some of you might have seen on instagram first game of the season today football season league one my team i don't know if you can yes oxford united uh started off well well i say we started off well if you look on the stats and on paper, we should have beat uh, Cambridge United quite comfortably. Uh, we went ahead, but then they got a penalty late on. But hey, it's okay. It's marathon, not sprint. There's plenty of other games left. 
and one point on the board is better than uh, none. So yeah, no complaints there. Looking forward to getting back to see a game uh, live. It's been over a year for me since I've seen a game. So looking forward to getting back to the grounds and seeing uh, the football or soccer, as you may know it. We all know it's soccer, not soccer, football though. It's, really, it's not really football. Look at that, lovely. Spreads, nice and easy, clings to the face. Um, you can generally tell if the soap is going to uh, come off halfway through the shave or not, but you can just tell this, it is clinging on nicely. Oh, what a razor this is. It is nice. The cushion is there. Check. The uh, glide is there. Stay in power. Well, we'll have a look after the second passer. Residual, residual, residual slickness. Um, We'll have a look at that again in a minute. Nice, 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 yes. But yeah, if you haven't had the chance to check out Lothar yet, they are available at some of the, in the US vendors. Um, off the top of my head, I don't know which ones, but yeah. It's pretty readily available. What is wrong? I can't talk today. It is pretty readily available. Um, if you're in a country where you can't pick it up easily, reach out to Johnny via Instagram or send him a message via the uh, website, and I'm sure he'd be more than happy to help you out. But yeah, as I said, Johnny, I met up with him uh, a few weeks ago, and he is just a nice guy. He's a cool guy, very knowledgeable about uh not only the the wet shaving industry but the uh mechanics of soap making so he knows the ins and outs of it certification he knows what's what what's good and what's not um there we go pass one oh nice get rid of some of that Residual slickness is definitely there. Um, but yeah, just it is a it is a good soap. This I've been I've been using it most of this week with different razors, different blades, and it never fails to let you down. I know uh, some of the not so much complaints, but. The constructive criticism from people early on saying uh, that the scent was a little bit weak. Um, this one I've got is actually a, a revised uh, a revised soap with a stronger scent. Um, obviously in the UK we're uh, bound by different regulations to you guys over in the US for example. We can't just chuck as much fragrance in as we want to. I think the maximum you can put in is 4%. I think Johnny was saying the Standard is about 1%. Um, I guess a lot of it depends on uh, the scents that you're using, but this one is a reformulated soap um, and it has a stronger scent. Can't compare it to the first release, but for me, it's definitely a solid medium. Um, it's very nice. It's very uh, natural, a natural scent which is a bonus, as I was saying with some lavender scents, you can find that they're a little bit synthetic. I mean, unless you're gonna sit and put lavender in a, a jar for a year and uh, create your own, I suppose, essential oil, it is very difficult to get a scent exactly like the uh, original, but this is, uh, 
pretty damn nice. The uh, soap itself, and you know me, I, uh, I'm not paid to give my thoughts on it, I'll be honest. They, uh, they don't call me the opinionated Brit for nothing. It is a, a really, really good soap. Um, I have quite sensitive skin or combination skin. It's uh, quite dry in places, oil in places. So I don't really get affected by certain ingredients, but certainly if a soap isn't very slick or the glide isn't there, I do struggle. But I have no such issues with this one. I, uh, if anybody came to me and said, Andy, what do you think of the uh, loafer soaps? I would have no problem in saying, fantastic, go out and buy one. Oh, yes, look at that. Nice, 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 nice. No cuts. Oh, yeah. Gets the opinionated brick. Seal of approval. Two passes, that's all we need. It's an SAS, socially acceptable shave. Um, let the water drain out and then uh, we'll rinse off. I was desperate to get this video down to 15 minutes, but it's not gonna happen. Probably gonna be around 18, maybe 17, 18. We'll keep trying though. Well, we just want to remember, if you haven't already, go and check out episode four of um, the Take Care Men uh, Mental Health Podcast. Um, that's on my channel. You can go and check that out there. It'll be the video below this one. Um, you can also check it out on uh, Todd, Professor Todd's website, The Take Care Man. Um, we'll be recording another episode next week. Uh, I uh, need to get my arse into gear. Here we go. Strawberry Fields, haven't used this before for me and E. Yeah, I need to get my arse into gear. Um, Shane from Blackland Razors is going to be the next guest on the Opinionate Bit podcast. Oh yeah, 420 baby. Um, and I kind of put it off, I put it off for Shane uh, for a while, just because I haven't been in, a, uh, in the right headspace, to be honest. Um, been struggling a bit with various different things. Started a new job a few weeks ago, which is uh, working out quite well. It's early days, but so far so good. Um, but yeah, some personal stuff going on as well. But hopefully we're back on the straight and narrow and I'll look to uh, gear up that episode with Shane ASAP. All right, so get the old brower mop. It's quite humid here, it's not been too bad. It's been uh, raining, it's been my daughter's birthday weekend. She was seven on uh, Unscented, still in balm, seven on Friday. My glasses are probably gonna steam up. Get some of that on there. Oh yeah, yeah, very nice. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we've been celebrating that. Back to work on Monday. But it's one of those I'm actually looking forward to going to work for the first time in a long, long time. Um, so shout out to Yorkshire Water. Um, yeah, thank you to all my uh, new subscribers. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, but yeah, really appreciate that. If it's the first time watching uh, the channel and you've enjoyed the video, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Click the bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. Uh, make sure you like this video and please leave a comment down below. Like the comments up. Let me know uh, your thoughts on Lothar if you've used it before. Um, <clears throat> if you've got any recommendations or you want me to do any specific shades, let me know. Um, but yeah, have a great uh, rest of the weekend. Have a good week next week and I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you soon. There'll be a video coming for my 500 subscriber giveaway very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But uh, in the meantime, stay out of trouble, stay safe. Oh, one more thing, actually. I want to give it, because there's a bit of a Yorkshire theme going on on this. 
I just want to uh, I want to mention shaving stations. They're another Yorkshire um, company, another Yorkshire vendor. They are an approved Zingari um, vendor. They are getting a lot of the, the PAA stuff in. Um, reach out to Stu if there's anything that you want him to get in uh, specifically. Stu's a cool guy. Um, I'm sure he'll consider it. Um, if you want to try and get, if you're an artisan, and you want to try and get your stuff into the UK and you've struggled, speak to Stu. Um, yeah, Stu's just a cool guy. Um, so yeah, go check out their website. Um, I'll chop, uh, chuck a link in the comments or in the subscription. Um, so yeah, there we go. As I was saying, stay out of trouble, stay safe. And most importantly, stay shaving. Peace.